So when it comes to weight loss, there's a key factor involved that is very easy to overlook. You feel like you're eating the right stuff, you're drinking water, even working out a few times a week. But if you still can't shed those few extra pounds, you could be sleeping on a key factor in any sustainable weight loss journey. It's your sleep. Hey you guys, I'm Fantasia, and I've spent many occasions burning the midnight oil. Whether I was up working on an important task, binge watching a new show on Netflix, or staying up with my youngest kid who had a late nap, there have definitely been times when I stayed up way too late. This usually leads to a pretty slow start the next day, and it takes a full day for me to recover. In addition to being cranky throughout the day, this bad habit can actually have some pretty damaging effects on metabolic health. Let's talk about weight loss specifically. If you really wanna burn excess fat, calorie restriction alone simply won't cut it. Studies have repeatedly found that people who are chronically sleep deprived are at higher risk of obesity. That's because sleep is linked to a number of hormonal and metabolic processes that keep your overall metabolism balanced. In fact, more and more research points to the fact that a lack of sleep affects insulin levels and glucose metabolism in the body. Even a few nights of poor slumber can cause higher fasting glucose and reduced insulin sensitivity. This means your cells are less responsive to the insulin and your body will have to crank out even more of the hormone to process its glucose, all of which have a direct impact on your weight. One study found that people sleeping five and a half hours a night lost more non-fat mass than fat while on a mildly calorie restricted diet. Meanwhile, people who got eight and a half hours of sleep shed more fat. The reason may be because the short sleepers also had higher levels of isolated ghrelin, which is a hunger promoting hormone that encourages fat retention and glucose production by the liver. When we take a look at this graphic, you can see that the different ways that chronic sleep deprivation can lead to weight gain. Each of these three mechanisms compounded on top of one another makes it extremely difficult to shed that unwanted body fat. Your eating habits are monitored by complex hormonal interactions between chemicals like ghrelin, leptin, and cortisol. These hormones work in conjunction with your metabolism to moderate appetite, calorie consumption, and cravings. When you don't get enough sleep, these important biological processes are disrupted, and the end result is unnecessary and oftentimes unwanted fat accumulation. Look, I know firsthand how difficult it can be to consistently get enough sleep. So I can also tell you from experience that there are strategic ways you can aim to get a good night's rest and support your path to weight loss. Number one, stick to consistent routines. If possible, be sure to go to sleep and wake up at the same times every day. Erratic sleep timing throughout the week, especially if it leads to sleep deprivation, can raise insulin resistance. Your sleep habits are also affected by sunlight and darkness, so it may help to go outdoors for some sunshine as soon as possible in the mornings. Number two, be mindful about food choices and timing. Avoid eating dinner close to bedtime and don't snack after eating your evening meal. Caffeine, alcohol, and spicy foods are known sleep disruptors, and research suggests that the large amounts of added sugar and processed grains can trigger insomnia. Having more whole vegetables and fruit may act as an antidote. And number three, set a bedtime ritual to wind down. It's important that your bedroom is cool, dark, and comfortable for a good night's rest. In the evening, use tools like journaling, meditation, or reading to help calm your mind. And turn off all electronics to ensure parasympathetic activation and sleep onset. If you've tried everything and you just can't seem to get a good night's rest, consider seeing a sleep specialist or a coach for support. These tips will not only help you to lose extra weight, but will also enable you to maintain a healthy weight once you've reached your goal. I hope you get some quality sleep tonight, but before you start counting sheep, be sure to check out the full length blog post linked in the description of this video and subscribe to our channel to learn more about how to support your overall metabolic health. Thanks for watching. See you next time.